morning, seventh grade. You have a quiz today. It is Tuesday and you are on quiz two, your last quiz of this book, your last quiz of this year. You have one more opportunity to help out yourself on your test, make a good grade, go slow, look over your work really good, guys, before you hand your quiz in. Um, just a heads up on what some things you're gonna need to know for your test, I mean your quiz. Make sure you have your book in front of you, not your quiz. You're going to need to know the word for sets that have nothing in common. Sets that have nothing in common are called what? Okay, you're gonna to need to know that. You need to know the parallel symbol, the empty set symbol. Um, you need to know the formula for Hector and Acres miles squared in acres, and acres to feet squared. You're gonna need, need to know all of those. You also have a word problem where they're giving you um, a large amount of something and the cost of that, and they wanna know what, if you would just buy one, what are you going to do? They want to know what the cost of just one would be. You guys have done some of those um, previously. They do tell you the first blank is to be the near thousandth of a dollar. Make sure you know where, how many numbers you're going to have on thousandth. The next blank is where you're supposed to round it to the nearest cent. You guys have been doing some of this, but just a reminder, watch your instructions very closely. You're going to be uh, writing numbers in scientific notation. You guys seem to do well with that. Um, you also have a story problem where, um, let's say you've got 50 cows giving two gallons of milk a day. How much milk are you producing every day? Or something like that. It's a word problem kind of like that. Um, you're going to write a large number in standard form. They're going to give it to you in scientific notation. You have to write the large number out. You're going to need to know the difference between whole numbers, counting numbers, and integers. You're going to be subtracting fractions, adding fractions. Um, you're going to be adding mixed measures, and that's like inches, feet, pounds, and ounces. Just remember that if you come up to um, like more than 16 ounces, finish your problem, okay? It needs to be 15 or less. If you have inches and feet, if your inches come up to be more than 12 or more, finish your problem. Don't forget to finish it. You're going to be solving for unknowns like n equals whatever. You're going to be finishing a problem and solving for the unknown. Make sure, sure, sure you know the rules for when you multiply and divide two negatives or two positives. What is it negative or is it positive? And also the rules for adding and subtracting negatives and positives. You're going to, you've got seven problems like this. And make sure you know, okay, do I subtract? If I have two negatives, do I add or subtract? Um, and what is my answer going to be? My sign for my answer. Make sure you go back. If you have any problems with these or if you're getting them wrong, um, look back in your book and make sure you understand it before you take your quiz. Okay? Remember, in adding and subtracting, if the signs are the same, in other words, if you have two negatives or two positives, this is in adding and subtracting, Two negatives or two positives, you always add. If you have a negative and a positive, you always subtract. If your signs are both positive, your answer is positive. If your signs are both negative, your answer is negative. If you have a negative and a positive, you subtract, and your answer is the sign of the larger number. This is for adding and subtracting. The rules for multiplying and dividing are a little different. Um, you know, you just go by the sign. 
for multiplying and dividing, but your answer, the sign for your answer, if you've got two positives in multiplying and dividing, your answer is positive. If you have two negatives, your answer is positive. If you have a positive and a negative, your answer is negative. So in multiplying and dividing, if your signs are the same, whether they're two negatives or two positives, your answer is always positive. If they're unlike, your answer is always negative, okay? If you need to rewind this video and look back, I mean, listen to it again until you have it, make sure you've got it because you've got seven on your test and they are three points each, okay? Make sure you know how to do them, guys. I want you to make a good grade. I hope you do well and excited to be getting closer. Have a good day.